What's up, Tech King? Stefan here from TechRite. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new renders of the LG Stylo 7. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope everyone is safe out there. Really quick, just want to give a huge shout out to Josh Edwards for actually tipping me off to this. Uh, really appreciate you, boss. I'll definitely leave your Instagram in the comment section down below if you want me to. Definitely DM me and I'll go ahead and put it in this video. He shout out to you, though. Um, he tipped me off to the LG Stylo 7 actually being leaked as far as the renders go. Uh, now, a lot of different websites actually covered this. The website I'm looking at right now is Gadgets360 if you guys want to read further further into detail or look at these images or renders really close up, I'll put the link in the description down below so you guys can go and check that out. Uh, but first and foremost, it says the LG Stylo 7 CAD renders leak online uh, quad cameras. Uh, and a hole punch display tipped. So these are the tips that we got so far. So looking at this, it says, the LG Stylo 7 base renders have leaked online. The renders show the rumored phone from all angles and it tips a 3.5 millimeter audio jack support, uh, which is, Great to see, especially in 2020. Um, so far, the design is looking really weird to me, though. Um, it honestly, like the back of it, if those ridges are going to be in there, a lot of stuff is going to get stuck in there. I'm not sure how I feel about this so far, uh, but so far, it's looking really, really weird. Going further into detail, it says the LG Stylo 7 is likely to succeed the LG Stylo 6 uh, launched in May this year. It says the LG Stylo 6 has a water drop style notch, and the LG Stylo 7 could take it a level further by donning a hole punch display design so tell me what you guys think about that I really think the hole punch design is a lot better design uh, than the water droplet that we currently have on the LG Stylo 6 I just feel like it's it's kind of a waste of space to be quite honest so um, I'm really happy that they're actually putting that little hole punch in there again tell me what you think do you like the water droplet better or do you like this one better it says the lg stylo 7 is tipped to come with a quad camera setup as well uh, which is nice to see and hopefully each of those cameras um, are actually individual cameras and they're actually not using software hopefully that's the case we'll go ahead and check that out though uh, but it says the camera setup at the back and a side mounted fingerprint sensor so that's very interesting um I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like the side-mounted fingerprint sensors are decent on really good phones, but if it's a budget phone, I feel like it has trouble. Um, if you guys know what I mean, I've messed with a lot of Yuma Digi phones, um, Ella phones and things like that. And in the early stages of the side-mounted fingerprint sensor, it honestly didn't work too well unless the phone was actually like a flagship device so hopefully the fingerprint sensor does work well i do like side uh mounted fingerprint sensors but i don't know about this hopefully hopefully i i have faith in this though i have faith in this it also says a report from 91 mobile shows the cad renders of the lg stylo 7 which the publication says have been obtained from trusted sources um this these are probably the renders these are probably the renders that we are going to be seeing Hopefully by the end of this year, if not the beginning of next year, in the Stylo 7. It says the renders tip the phone to have arrow side bezels, uh, a flat display, and a hole punch cutout in the top center for the selfie camera. It says at the bottom of the display, the LG Stylo 7 appears to have a slight chin. So it looks like we are going to have a slight chin on this device, um, such as we had on the LG Stylo 6. Um... I don't, it doesn't look like anything too crazy, but honestly, those chins really take a lot of the quality look away from a phone. It, it just really makes a phone look super cheap. It kind of reminds me of like the LG Q6 uh, that we saw at Metro earlier, uh, I think two years ago, actually, or was it two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. I just, I don't like the chin. That chin needs to go, honestly. It says the phone has divided the back panel into three different sections, with the top left comprising of four rear camera sensors, sitting one below the other. It says below the sensors is a small indent for the stylus that clicks in and clicks out, so that's great to see um, that we're going to have another click in and click out stylus because you guys know that I've been messing with this design. This is probably one of the only things that I actually like about the LG Stylo 6 is that we can actually click in and out the stylus. That's something that I asked for after I viewed the Stylo 5 and after I kind of broke down what I liked and didn't like about it. And it seems like they actually changed the style. So LG is definitely listening to you guys. So if you guys have anything that you wanna talk about that you want changed on a device in the future, 
definitely leave those comments in the comment section because I know they're up on every creator's videos that talk about their devices. It also says there's little clarity about the material used for the rest of the back panel. So looking at the history of the Stylo series, this device is probably going to be around $300 um, as far as the like unlocked version goes. Obviously, you're going to have port-in specials at Cricut and all these other prepaid wireless companies. But... They're probably going to be using plastic. I can't see them using metal or glass at all, to be quite honest. We're probably just going to see a polycarbonate back. There's actually been some really good builds coming in uh, with polycarbonate backs, and they make them feel nice and premium. So honestly, I don't have you know, a big deal with using a polycarbonate or plastic back. I just don't want it to feel insanely cheap. Uh, so hopefully they use that compacted plastic instead of just regular plastic in this device. Um, the LG Stylo 6, honestly, to me, it felt pretty decent uh, for the price. I got it for 160, I believe, when I got that little discount on boostmobile.com. But yeah, that device honestly feels pretty decent. It doesn't feel like the most expensive phone, but it definitely doesn't feel cheap. Budget phones have definitely come a long way, honestly, in the last just like four years of me doing YouTube and or I think it's almost five now, which is which is pretty crazy. Uh, it also says the LG Stylo 7 render shows the phone with a speaker grill, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and a USB type C port at the bottom edge, along with the stylus insert, the volume rockers and dedicated Google Assistant button uh, appear to be on the left edge. So it's going to be alongside the SIM tray slide. What do you guys think about that? Honestly, um, Google Assistant, I have been using it a little bit more, but for the Stylo 7s, to have like a dedicated button for that hopefully it's mappable because honestly it's just going to turn into the new bixby button uh but hopefully it is going to be mappable um if it is that's really cool if we get that option because some people really don't like that that's they should always give people the option to map that out uh to open like maybe your favorite application or like the camera really quickly or whatever the report also says uh that they do not know the dimensions of the device yet obviously the stylo 6 was 6.8 inches so we're probably going to see something pretty similar to that hopefully in between 6.6 .6 and 6.8 um, but yeah there are no other specifications uh, known at this moment and it's not clear when the phone will launch hopefully they launch it earlier or hopefully at the end of this year that would be really cool if they did something like that in December but that's probably not going to happen. Uh, so hopefully by the beginning of next year, we get it super early. I get to cover the device. And hopefully it's a way better device than the Stylo 6 because that was... It was, it was disappointing, to be honest. It was disappointing. Some people liked it. I really was disappointed, to be quite honest. Definitely let me know about that as well. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys have any more opinions or any other information on this device, definitely leave it in the comment section down below so I can go ahead and check that out. Uh, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this. This has been Safan from TechRite. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below as well as subscribing. If you are not part of the tech gang already, this has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.